Uh, something very monumental happens to her character, and it's the first time this has ever happened in any world, any sort of Lab Rats Mighty Med world. We're on the set of a brand new show. We are? I think. Someone told me that. I don't even know it looks new. It looks like I want to live here, so I'm going to move in later. Okay. Um, what's going on with Brie in this first season of Lab Rats Leave? Lots. Um, Brie has transformed quite a bit since season one of Lab Rats. Um, she was this naive little girl trying to fit in with everybody, and now she's like Mama Bird, basically, to some of these younglings that have come in. Because she's on the older side now with uh, with Chase. So she's kind of acting as somewhat of a mentor. Um, although this is all very new to us, this team that we have now formed, we're all adjusting to it. But Bree's like, you know, she's got this. She's been on missions before. She's kind of letting them in on how things work around here. Um, and something happens to her in this new show. It's not bad, I promise. Like, she doesn't, like, die. But she, um... You wouldn't be here. <laughs> true. Um, but she goes back to life. Just kidding. Uh, something very monumental happens to her character, and it's the first time this has ever happened in any world, any sort of Lab Rats, Mighty Med world. It's very intense. Like she gets a boyfriend, no, <laughs> right? Brie actually keeps a boyfriend. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, bigger problem. I know she she has more to worry about than stupid boys. But it's I want to talk all about it, but I'll get in so much trouble if I say anything. So you'll see. That's a good reason to tune anyway, in. That's what she was talking about. I'll be waiting for it. Yeah. Hell no. Um, brand new suits. Yeah. What was it like getting to wear that and now you're a team of like five? It's cool. I mean, we obviously look like such a team when we're all standing there like Do posing. Their, yeah. I mean, we have our like go-tos. Mine's kind of like the look and like the, the hip How out thing. You perfect this look. I'm like in the mirror a few times like yeah. that's my angle. I've learned to know that my left side is my good side. So I always try to like... You go with like an eyebrow raised a little bit? I just do like this, like not a squint, but like a smile. It's like a smile with your eyes. Oh, Almost. smile. Uh, but the suits are very cool. Um, I like the blue color too, which is new. We always had like the gray suits with like the red accents on Lab Rats. And uh, my suit is very similar to my old one in terms of like what it's made of and like the fit of it. It's like skin tight with a zipper and stuff and like the knee high boots. Uh, but this one's a little different and it's cool and they all complement each other very well and when we roll up we're like we're here we're the team we're the elite force and Breeze used to be the only girl now there's another girl yep. does that work out well oh yeah i was like this can go one of two ways and thank goodness paris is like my best friend in real life and like our characters i I explain to the writers, I'm like, look, I know it's going to be like, there's going to be times where like, you know, uh, Brie and Skylar butt heads a little bit because she was the only girl in her world too. And I, but I wanted to make sure that our characters were not enemies. Like that's the last thing I want to happen. Like, you know, Brie can throw her sassy little comments, but at the end of the day, like I want them to be almost like sisters and like come together. And she's like my little sis and I honestly like, you know, sisters fight, but at the end of the day, we love each other and that's what it's ended up being. And we're very close on the show, so. Why should people tune in to Lab Rats Leap? Because it rocks. Um, because the show is, honestly, when I say it rocks, like, it rocks. Uh, you have this combined superhero, bionic hero thing going on, which ends up being really awesome. Like, the action is just amped up to, like, level 10. And, of course, your favorite characters from both shows are coming together as one, and it's pretty awesome. I don't think Disney has ever done anything like this before. It's a whole mashup show. No, so we, I mean, they do the crossovers, like we did the crossover with Lab Rats and Mighty Med, but this is like a whole entire show, and I think it's gonna work really well, and it's just, we're, it's really cool, and it's intense, and we have our moments of being, you know, a regular group of friends who just hang out in the penthouse, but also we can switch into that other gear of being superheroes, which is awesome. He kind of has to let go of, now that there are more, you know, now that he's, you know, there are new members to the team, he kind of has to let go of his mission leader status. Like, I love our scenes where we're just, like, all of us are just, like, sitting on the couch talking. Because it's, like, fun and it's real, you know, and, like, we'll sit on the couch in our dressing rooms and just talk. So.